Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. You know, I love doing hardware reviews. It's so fun. And it's very rare that I get an opportunity to do two in a week, let alone receiving two System76 laptops on the same day. In the studio today, I have both the new Gazelle and the new Lemur, the two newest laptops that System76 has available. And I'm going to be doing a review of both of these but to tide you guys over, I'm going to give you guys an unboxing video for both. And in today's video, I will unbox the new Lemur. And then in another video, which I will also release today, I will be unboxing the new Gazelle as well. And then I'll spend about a week with each of these machines and then come back with a full review. So let's go ahead and get the new Lemur unboxed and ready to go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this laptop out of the box. I can't wait to check out the new lemur, so here we go. We sure do put a lot of tape on this. It's almost like they're afraid it's going to run away, and I certainly don't want this laptop to run away. There is tape on all sides of the box. And it's really thick. And here we go. Here we have the laptop. I'll unwrap that in just a moment. And I really like their boxing and how they protect all the components. And here is the AC adapter for power. Now this is actually really small and really skinny and light. This is probably the lightest AC adapter that I have ever received from System76. The connector is this barrel connector right here, which I'm going to try to get in the frame as best I can which is interesting to me because this is a laptop that can charge over USB-C. This is not a USB-C charger, but you could still charge it with USB-C, so I guess that's fine. Then of course we have the box right here. I think it's really awesome. I love the artwork. I'm somewhat of a space geek myself, so this is very much up my alley. But look at this, I love it. So anyway, that's enough of the box. And then here we have the actual laptop, so just bend the flaps. And here we have the laptop. So let me go ahead and put this packaging aside here. And my initial impression here of the weight, it's, um, I would say a little bit lighter than the Galago Pro. Not very much so. It feels like it has decent weight for sure. And I'll give you guys a look at the underside as well. And here's a laptop right here. I'm going to go ahead and open the lid. And my first impressions are, well, the build quality is uh, very sturdy. It might look like it's flexing, but it's actually rubber feet on the bottom. It's actually not moving as far as the chassis is concerned. So the power button is located on the side. Let's see if I can get it in frame here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and power it on. And here we go. Now the first thing I want to do is see how bright the screen is. I'm not sure if the brightness controls on the keyboard work at this point because it isn't completely booted up yet.
Well, what do you know? Looks like that works. And the screen is at its brightest right now. I really do think that the brightness is, well, it's actually pretty good. I like it. So I've gone ahead and turned off the lights in my studio. I do have some light coming in from the window, but wanted to see how bright the screen is without the ambient light in the room. And so far, it may not be the brightest laptop that I've ever seen, but it looks great. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched the input over to my screen recorder. So now what you're seeing is footage recorded directly off the laptop. I saw a message come up that showed that I have some firmware updates here. So let's go ahead and get that installed and see what that looks like. And when I clicked on it, it opened up this section here in the GNOME settings, simply called firmware. I'll click the update button. And it's, this is pretty cool. It's actually showing us the change log for the firmware. So it actually looks like there's some really important fixes here. So I'm going to just go ahead and let this install. So my screen recorder is unable to capture the footage from the BIOS update. So I switched the camera over to my camcorder so you guys can see what that looks like. And I love the fact that BIOS updates are being handled directly through Pop! OS. It just looks very professional and I'm going to go ahead and press enter to start the process. And this might take a few minutes so I'm going to go ahead and let this run but I at least wanted to show you guys what this process actually looks like. So that was my quick unboxing video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and you'll be the first to be notified as soon as the full review is available. I'm going to spend about a week or so putting this laptop through as many tests as I can, and then we'll see how it stacks up and I'm definitely going to check out the long battery life that they advertise and see just how long the battery actually lasts. So I will see you as soon as that video is out. So stay tuned.